I received a call about Ozzy, a one-year-old Bernese mountain dog. Ozzy's owner has been having problems with him jumping, barking, mouthing, and pulling on walks or around other dogs. As soon as I saw him through the door, I knew that there was something else going on. I was told he has had some issues with adults, but his owner nor I were expecting this. Pause video to read. This is a dog giving offensive threats. His tail is up. He has a stiff legged stance. He is moving towards me, leaning on me, and making direct eye contact. He was barking and lunging towards me, so I stood very still and avoided making eye contact so he would not see me as a threat. I was expecting him to be more calm but instead he lunged towards me, jabbing my leg firmly with his muzzle as a warning, as if to say, I can bite if I need to. Hey, sit. No. I, want you, I want you to ignore him. I want you to ignore okay. him. <laughs> With this behavior, I was very uncomfortable and I did ask the owner to remove the young children. At this point, he is warning me that he will bite me. I have no doubt in my mind that he, he would do that. I have never come into a house and I have worked with dogs that have bitten people before multiple times. Never have I walked into a house to a dog that does this. Okay. This makes me extremely concerned. The way that he is coming at me is he is, his body language is very assertive. Uh, he has all four feet very firm placed on the ground. So if he needs to move quickly, either away or to get closer to me as to attack, he would be able to. The other thing is when, hey, he, get back. The other thing, when he comes up to me, he's warning me that okay. he's not afraid to, He's not going to be afraid to do that because he's coming up to me and going and pushing me and jabbing me very hard as a warning. And then he gets back, gets in that stance like, get out of here. <laughs> that's extremely concerning. That is, honestly, if, that, if that's not corrected, you're going to have a high, very highly possibility that he is going to bite somebody. Oh, I definitely don't want that. I do not want that either. He's so good with the kids, they like pull on him and jump on him and he doesn't no. do anything. The Burmese mountain dog is very affectionate and loves the companionship of a family. They are natural watchdogs and will alarm bark if they feel it to be necessary. Usually they are very territorial and protective of their property. The breed is slow to mature and can act like puppies for a longer period of time. Bernese Mountain Dogs, they are great with kids, they are great with adults, but the thing is, they need socialization with people, people of different heights, people of different races, religions, um, because the thing about them is they can be very, very protective and assertive in these situations. It's going to be extremely difficult to change those behaviors as he gets older. And right now, what he's doing is he's looking for you to say, did I do okay? Did I do okay? And that's why I haven't petted him because I didn't want to reinforce he, that. Exactly. So when he came over to you, so now I'm right here. I haven't moved. Now he's by you. 
and one, he checked with you to say, did I do good? And then he is right by you, in front of you, as to protect him from, to protect, feeling the need to protect you from somebody who he is unfamiliar with. The more that he is close to you, the more likely he is to react to the invasive person because then he feels a need to protect you. So the more you can keep him away from you and stop him from guarding you, the less likely you're going to see that behavior. Okay. Because the resource that he's guarding, that he, he feels that is really good and amazing and pleasurable to him, that he feels the need to protect and claim because he feels that maybe something's going to happen to it or it's going to be taken away. Um, so in this situation, you have now become the resource. He feels the need to guard you, to protect you, to claim you, and he is not going to leave your side. So... First off, I, I just just out of curiosity, I'd like you to maybe walk over in that direction, and I want to see what he does. One, if he stands here to not let me in, or two, if he follows you over there. Oh gosh, you. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to teach capturing. Capturing is when you teach your dog to perform a natural behavior on cue. You wait for your dog to perform this behavior without any prompting or guidance. You mark with a verbal cue, then reward immediately afterwards. So capturing is is when he is not doing this behavior. I'm going to toss a treat away from me as a reward for when he stops. So right now he went over to you to say, hey, am I doing good? And then came back. So I'm going to wait until he stops barking, and then I'm going to toss a treat. He needs to learn space. So I'm going to turn my body sideways and not look at him directly. This is a less threatening position. To greet a dog in. You have to wait. Yes, good. Quiet. 